Hello there my lovely jewelry makers, I'm Christina of CSL Designs and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this intertwining herringbone wire macrame bracelet. Now I just made these using two different colours of wires to really show the effect you can get but you can of course easily use just one colour. That's completely up to you and if you're interested in these particular bracelets I have them for sale in my shop where I also sell other jewelry kits and tutorials. But if you want to learn how you can make the bracelet for yourself then keep watching. So these are the materials that we'll need. The wire that I'm using is a regular round wire and I'm using both silver coated and copper wire. And the first gauge here is a 0.8mm. Then I've got a 0.6mm, one in each colour. And then I've got a 0.5mm, also one in each colour. Of course you can use the same colour if you want to, that's completely up to you. Then the beads we'll need are 6mm rounds. The specific ones I'm using are blue agate gemstone beads. Of course you can use whatever you want to, just make sure the holes are large enough to take the 0.8mm wire through. And finally we need our findings. So I'm using a lobster claw clasp, an extender chain and a few jump moves to put it together. Of course you can use whatever kind of clasp you prefer. Now I'm going to be working on my mini macrame board here. It has these notches all the way around all the edges. Makes it really handy to do a macrame with. As for our pliers, we need something to cut a wire with, so I've got my flush cutters here. I'm using some tweezers and chain nose pliers to manipulate the wire and for the jump rings. And then I'm using my six step bell making pliers to make loops with at the end. You can also easily use round nose pliers. You'll find the material list and useful links in the description box down below the video. Otherwise, let's get it all ready and let's get started. Then we need to cut some lengths of our wires to work with. And first of all, I have a length of the 0.8mm of about 35 centimeters. Then we need two lengths of the 0.6mm of about one meter each, and I have one of each color. Then we need four lengths of the 0.5 mil of about two and a half meters each, and I have two in each color. So what I've done is attach my 0.8 mil here to my board using the middle slots and the short ends opposite each other. And what I'm then gonna do is grab my two lengths of 0.6 mil here, because we need to attach these to that 0.8 mil that's on the board. So I'm just gonna start with one, and I'm just starting with the silver one. So the first thing I wanna do is take the two ends and put them together because what we need to do is find the midpoint of this wire. So keep hold of them and work your way up until we have this little loop. Now grab hold of that, that's now our midpoint. And I'm then gonna take one end and bring it underneath the 0.8 mil that's already on the board and then place that midpoint under the 0.8 mil there. Now what I'm gonna do is attach this using a regular square knot. And if you're not familiar with macrame knots, I do have basic tutorials for that. So you can check those out if you need to. Otherwise I'm gonna take my left length, bring that over the holding wire, so the 0.8 mil there, and then the right one goes over that, underneath the holding wire in the middle, and up through the loop here on the other side. And I like to just hold onto everything so I know the midpoint stays in place, and pull that through, and then just pull both ends tight, all the way. So we have our first half of a square knot, now we need to make the other half, so I'm going to take the right length, bring over the holding wire, the left length goes over that, and underneath everything in the middle, up through the loop on the other side, and then we just pull it tight, and then there we have our full square knot. Then you want to just grab the other length of 0.6mm, in my case the copper here, and just repeat the same, so attach that underneath the first one. So now I have my 2.6mm wires attached, we then need to bring in the 0.5mm wires. So what I'm actually going to do is just move my board around, because I'm kind of going to just be working on one side at a time. So just whatever side you want to start with. And then I'm going to first of all be focusing on the first wire that we attached on this side here. So in my case that's silver and I'm just going to gently push the other one out of the way. That's another thing that's handy for using the macrame board. You can use the notches to help hold your wires out of the way so you don't get tangled up. So I'm going to be matching the colours of my wires together here. So of the 0.5mm I'm going to grab a silver length and we just want to put the ends together again because again we need to find the midpoint like that. And then we're just going to keep hold of that and we want to place it underneath the 0.6 mil wire here. Basically, we're gonna be doing the exact same thing that we just did with the 0.6 mil. Now the 0.6 mil will just be the holding wire instead of the working wire. So, again, I can just place this back in the slot so it's a little bit more taut to work with. And then I'm just gonna use a regular square knot here to attach this length of wire. So one side goes over, the other one comes over that, underneath everything in the middle, and up through the loop on the other side, and then just pull it through while holding onto everything, and then pull that nice and tight. That's the first half of our knot. And the other half, I'm gonna start with the opposite side. So bring that over. The other one goes over that underneath everything in the middle and up through the loop. And now it's already easier to do because we have already attached it, we don't need to hold on to it and then pull that tight, it's the other half, and we now have a full square knot of the 0.5 mil here onto the 0.6 mil. And you can always then just push it up and have it lay right next to the 0.6 mil there. Now what we need to do is continue making a row of square knots here underneath each other. So you literally just wanna grab the same wire that you started with before. So I take my left one, 
over the holding wire. The other one goes over that, underneath everything in the middle, and up through the loop. Pull that tight, that creates the first half of our knot, and then start with the opposite side, and bring that underneath everything in the middle, bring it up on the other side, and then tighten the second half of the knot. So I now have two full square knots here. So I have all my knots on here now, and I've ended up with eight in total in this case. So what we need to do is basically repeat the same for the rest of these 0.6 mil wires, where we're using the 0.5 mil to attach in the same way. Now for the copper one on this side here, just bring these ones a bit out of the way, and then I'm gonna bring this one down, and then grab a copper 0.5 mil here, find the midpoint, attach that in the same way. And on this one here, what I want to do is make 10 square knots. And then once I've done that, I'm going to flip the board around, repeat the same thing on the other side. So the top one here, in my case, is silver. I'm going to attach the remaining silver 0.5 mil and make eight square knots. And on the other side of the copper, I'm going to attach the remaining copper 0.5 mil and again, make 10 square knots, the same as on this side. So now I've got my initial rows of macrame done here. It's time to start adding in the beads. So I'm going to release the 0.8 mil here from the bottom and you just want to start adding the beads onto that and you can just add all your beads to begin with and then we can just push them down here and get them out of the way and I'm just going to leave one up because this is the first bead that we're going to cage in place. Now what we're going to do is start to maneuver these rows of knots so I'm just going to release everything from my board here. Now we basically always need to bring the top ones down so that means I'm going to go underneath the copper one in my case here then I'm going to grab the silver one and then I also want to start putting a curve into this so I'm going to make sure it's stays line flat. I wanted to shape a curve having the end here coming back around in towards the bead basically. We can start to see something like that and then we just want to push everything together and it's going to fit perfectly. So the end of my row of knots is going to meet up right below the bead and I'm going to repeat the same on the other side. So bring the top ones down below the bottom ones and make sure to put that curve into it and you can see we're now having them meet up at the bottom here what we then need to do is capture the two in place below the bead which is then going to trap the bead in place as well so what i'm going to do is take the two inner 0.5 mils here i'm going to bring those down and just join them up in the same slot as the 0.8 mil. Then I'm going to use the 0.6 mil here from these two silver rows as my working wires. I'm just going to leave the other ones out of the way for now. So I'm going to take my left one, bring that over all the holding wires in the middle, take the right one over that, underneath everything in the middle, make sure you go under all of them, and then bring it up through the loop and out the other side. And we're just going to then be tightening it and creating this square knot to trap it in place. So that's the first half. We just want to make the other half of the knot to do that just like the other times and then tighten that and I just also make sure that all the holding wires here are laying in the same order so the 0.8 mil is in the middle and then I have a 0.5 mil on either side and pull that nice and tight and then the wires go back out to the sides here ready for next time we need to use them and we can also then just release the 0.5 mil wires again from the bottom and bring them back out to our groups so we have something like that now what we need to do is bring the two copper ones in my case here so the new top ones down and basically repeat the same thing so i'm going to push up a bead first of all then i'm going to go underneath my silver ones here i'm going to start putting a curve into the row of knots so it curves back inwards again towards that next bead and you can also use pliers to help you create that curve a bit now repeat the same with the other side so go underneath the silver ones and then grab the top ones that are copper here and then again make sure it lays flat and then put in that curve so both ends are going to be coming in towards the middle there and then we're just going to repeat the exact same thing i'm going to take the inner 2.5 mil bring them down place them into the same slot as the 0.8 mil on the bottom, just like that, and then take the 0.6 mil, and again, we just wanna use the one from either side and make a square knot around all the wires in the middle here. So pull that first half tight, come right up underneath the bead, and then make the other half. And you can also just put your fingers on the ends of the knots there, just to make sure the first half stays tight while we're then tightening the other half of it and we then have a full square knot there and again you can release the 0.5 mils from the bottom bring them back out to their groups and now we reach the main part of the bracelet here so this is why i made the different amounts of knots on the rows to begin with the first ones have less because that distance is a bit less but now what we're going to do is keep repeating the same so what that means is i'm going to flip my board again to make it a bit easier to work with and just starting on one side at a time i'm going to take the 0.6 mil that's in the middle of that group and just place it in the slot on the side here then we can grab 
the 0.5 mil wires and start making our square knots with those and just pull it all the way in as tight as you can and keep making your knots and in this case we need 10 again just like we did with the copper because like I said we're now in the middle of the bracelet we're going to keep repeating the same thing and then you just want to flip your board around and do the same thing with the equivalent wires on the other side and once we've got both sides done here we just repeat again so we go underneath the bottom wires here in my case the copper start putting a curve into our row of knots bring the end further in towards the middle here and can't forget just push up one bead because this row is going to then end up below that. Repeat the same on the other side. Bring the row of knots underneath the wires below and then just put in that curve. And we then take the inner 0.5 mil, bring them down, join them up with the 0.8 mil. And then we can use the 0.6 mil from either side and make a knot in the middle here around all of these holding wires and tighten that right below that bead and then make the other half of the square knot and pull that tight. And then we've now attached these two rows and caged another bead in place. And we can join up all these silver wires into the original groups. And like I said, you now just wanna keep repeating this. So again, we can flip the board to start making the row of knots on either side here with, in my case, the copper wires. And then we just continue this to the other end. So now we reach the other end here, we just want to finish it the same way that we started it. So I've added all the beads I want to add, and the last two rows of knots that I made here, I've made eight knots on each in total, which is the same that we did on the first one. So I'm just going to grab those, bring them down into position, just like all the other times, and the other one as well. And again, then just use a point signal here to make a square knot around all the middle wires. And because this is the end, I'm not going to be adding a bead between the sections. I'm just going to tighten this like that and then make the other half. So we have now basically made the full length of macrame and can remove it from the board. And then what we need to do is finish off our wires here because obviously as you can see we've got quite a lot coming out on this end. So what I'm going to do is basically use the knots themselves to also help hide the wires as we finish them off. Now what I'm just going to start with is a square knot with a 0.6mm wire second in from the end and you're going to be able to see that the wires are kind of coming out towards opposite sides of the knot. So I have one here coming out towards this side and the other one it is coming out on this side but it has kind of a loop going over it so it's actually coming out towards the other side of the knot. So what I'm going to do is just push this back through to the opposite side so we're coming out to the side where it's actually coming out of the knot and then what I'm going to do is take the wires and bring them over the top of the holding wire running through the middle and to the opposite side there and the wire is going to then be running through the center of the knot just flip the piece around and do the same with the other side just bring it around to the other side and then we can go in and cut off the excess but make sure we leave a short little tail of a few millimeters so cut that off and then take your pliers and just make sure to push that down so it gets tucked into the knot. Flip it back around so we can do the same with the other one. Cut it off so we have a short length left and then just squeeze it down. And then just make sure you can't feel any ends of wire with your fingers. And what I'm then going to do is basically the same thing with a 0.5 mil that in this case is coming out towards the front on both sides. But I'm also going to push them to the back because it's actually coming to the opposite side of the knot. And the same with the other one. So they are now both coming out of the back. And the other two wires from this group, in my case the copper ones, they're coming out from that 0.6 mil wire knot that we made. So they're not finished off in the same way as the ones we just pushed to the back. So I'm just going to leave them for now. But otherwise just flip this around to the back. And then just finish off these two wires that I pushed there in the same way. So just bring them around to the opposite side over the knot basically. Cut off the excess. Squeeze it down with your pliers so it gets tucked into the knot. Just do the same with the other one. And as for the other two wires here, the 0.5 mil from the copper wires, what I'm gonna do is take one of them and put towards the other side for now, just on the side where it's coming from. Bring it all the way out. And then to finish off these ones here, I want to basically wrap them around the base wire right in this little gap that we have. So I'm going to take the other one bring it to the other side of the base wire, go down through the other side. So I'm basically starting to wrap this length of wire around the base wire. And then the one on the back, I'm coming up on the opposite side here. And bring that all the way through. And then I just wanna do this a few times. So again, bring it down on the opposite side. So it wraps around a bit more. 
and take the other one from the back and bring it towards the front but on the opposite side of the base wire and again pull that through and make sure that these wraps are nice and tight and you can just kind of do this a few times with however much space that you have and then you can just go in and cut off the excess like that grab your pliers flatten that down so the end isn't sticking out flip it around and repeat the same on the other side cut it off and push it down so we've now finished those off by wrapping them around the base wire right here at the end and basically what we want to do now is repeat the exact same thing with the remaining wire so these are in my case the silver ones i'm just going to start with a 0.6 mil here so on this side it's coming out towards the back so i'm just going to bring it over to the opposite side cut off the excess make sure to squeeze that down and then the one from this side also bring it to the opposite side here so it wraps around that base wire but within the knot cut off the excess squeeze it down then the ones coming from the 0.5 mil knots there i'm just going to also bring them to the opposite sides of the knot on the side that they're coming out from and then cut it off flatten it down just do the same with the one on the other side there and as for the last two wires here i'm going to do the same as we did with the last two on the copper ones i'm going to wrap these around the base wire just kind of alongside each other make sure the wraps are nice and tight and just a few times like that i'm gonna go in and cut off the excess on both of them and then just make sure to push down the ends so we now got rid of all our working wires here and what we have left is to make our loops on the ends so we can attach our clasp and i'm just going to show you on one because it's the same on both ends so grabbing my pliers i'm going to place them on the 0.8 mil wire just a little bit above those wraps so we have a bit of a gap and then bend it to the side then i'm grabbing my six step bell making pliers or your round nose pliers whatever you're using i'm using the smallest step here so the loops aren't going to be too large bring the wire back around all the way so we get a full circle like that then i'm going to put my pliers onto that circle so it holds its shape and use the end to basically wrap around below the circle here and just fill in the space that we left we just do a couple wraps and we can go in and cut off the excess like that and again then make sure to push that down as well just repeat the same on the other end so we have our loops ready to attach our clasp and then all that's left to do is shape the bracelet here so we can wear it so you just want to go in and start putting a curve into it go from side to side and gradually add more and more of a curve you can also shape it around something that has the size and shape you wanted to have like a bracelet mandrel but if not you can just use your hands and fingers like this and the goal is just to get the two ends closer together so we can of course use the clasp and then you have your bracelet finished and ready to wear. So I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial for this intertwiny herringbone wire macrame bracelet. Now if you want to support me in any way so I can continue making these free tutorials for you, you can always visit my shop where I sell jewelry kits and tutorials and these bracelets will be on there as well. There's also a super thanks button below the video if you want to support me that way. Otherwise just the usual, like, subscribe and share the tutorials helps a great deal as well. Otherwise I really hope you enjoyed this one, thank you so much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.